Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Today we are going to check out the summer overlay over here at the Bellagio Conservancy. So come get lost with today and make sure if you like this kind of video you subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's let's uh, go. Let's go. So we made it back to the Bellagio Conservancy and this time we're checking out the summer overlay and I have to say already it smells completely different than what it did during spring. And this is definitely one of our top three things that you guys should check out so let's go check it out. So as we talked about the last exhibit, this one actually has the uh, place cards back again. That makes me super happy. I love reading about sort of the inspiration and what made them choose the landscapes that they choose. Check out this beautiful purple tree. Wow. I love the purple leaves. A little backwashed. So they use the water here for cleansing and healing. Thank you. They're using the screens again for the flowing. It's pretty cool. Thank you, sir. Hello. Falls here. It's really spectacular. I don't see the koi like usual though. Seems to be missing. Pretty cool. So if you're wondering, here's the private dining experience for this one. It's under this nice little like cave area. It's kind of cool. Definitely check our link for the last video where we really discussed that in detail, what it costs to eat there and how to actually get a reservation.
So here's the garden table. Brunch is Sadell's. We've ate there before, so check that up in the upper right-hand corner. And then dinner is Michael Mina. And there's the reservations in case you're interested. That's awesome. I love the open hands as the water flows through. We'll check it out from the front in a second, but there's two big old trees right on the side. Oh, really awesome. Moving in. Check out. I still haven't seen any koi though. That's a gorgeous shot. Look at the flowers. So as I'm checking out this display, I have to say there's more placards than there was for the last one, but there's not as many as there was for like the fall and the winter one. Another thing I noticed too is there usually is like a big like natural art piece that's back over here in this corner and there's not one for this exhibit. But I have to say, it's really bright and colorful and it's definitely worth checking out. So let's keep exploring. Yeah, this is normally where that piece of art would be that's not here. Check out these giant roses. These are crazy. I like how there's like a goddess and then there's a another goddess on the other side too. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. Check again, another big rose. Oh, he brought us a flower. He's so cute.
All right, if you've never been here before, there's the main lobby right there, and there's the Conservancy. So it is directly off the main lobby and really easy to find when you get to the Bellagio. And if you follow to the right here, this is the parking garages over this way. All right, that concludes our tour of the Bellagio Conservancy summer display. What do you think, Nancy? I thought it was really nice. It's very colorful. It smells amazing in here, like always. And we came out a weekend and it was crazy busy, but this place is still our top place to check out free things to do in Las Vegas. What did you think? Yeah, this is one of the best free things to do in Las Vegas. Definitely a legit tip there. I love the goddesses. I love the little hummingbirds and the finches and stuff and the water features really awesome display really good and it did have some plaques this time and i you know me i like to read the plaques and find out kind of why they made the decisions they made and they also still have the dining in the conservancy so if you guys want to see us do that leave us a comment below and we'll definitely try and put that on our list of things to do before they change it over again for sure looking forward to it would you do sedeli's or michael kors um i think i do sedeli's because the michael kors is mostly whatever it is the whatever the restaurant is it's mostly seafood and I've looked at their menu and it's not great, so probably brunch. <laughs> probably brunch. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you can notify me to do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody. Bye.